We have three items on the agenda tonight. The first one, Ordinance 2009-34, to amend the City of Laverne zoning ordinance by changing the official zoning map for tax map 18A, parcel 10.01 and 12, located at 114 and 120 Glendale Drive, consisting approximately 26.13 square foot from a C2 zoning district to a R3. All right, it's open. If you want to speak for or against, you may come up here, uh, give us your name, and you can tell us if you're for it or against it. This is Ordinance 2009-34. Everything advertised, Bruce. I see uh, no one coming forward, so I'll move to number two. Ordinance 2010-04, to amend Article 5 of the La uh, Laverne Zoning Ordinance by adding a new section 5.056.1 for Walden Road, Murfreesboro Road, Street Grade District. If anyone want to come up, speak for or against, you may do so now. <coughs> We'll go to number three, our last one. <coughs> Ordinance 2010-05. Ordinance to amend Article 5 of the Laverne Zoning Ordinance by adding a new section 5.056.2 for the South Walden Road Overlay District. Anyone like to come up and speak for or against, do so now, please. You just need a name, don't you, Bruce? Name it out there. Okay. Doing fine. If you give us your name and address, please. Corey McClellan, uh, 72 Walden <coughs> Road. Uh, I'm a little confused about, I mean, I know you're rezoning this for multi-family multi homes and commercial. Am I correct in that? Yes or no? No. 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 This, what this does is it creates an uh, overlay district that requires a stone and brick and stucco content in the, okay. in the building. Uh, it, it also increases the size of trees that you're planning. Okay. It does include a uh, swath of land on the South Walls, and it is currently zoned off three, but it would require uh, improving it. It's actually improving okay. it. It's not rezoned. It's not rezoned. So, how is it going to affect the property value? Well, in our hopes, it, it would actually increase property value because it would require more brick construction rather than vinyl or metal or anything like that. Okay. Now, this does include uh, commercial districts and also industrial districts in some form. Of right. Um, Right after we got the letter about this meeting, about the rezoning, we also get a letter from the county saying they're going to, our property value has decreased. Do you know anything about that? Uh, yeah, that was uh, praised by the county. Bill Boner's right. office has done that. Uh, I've had a meeting with him, uh, waiting on the returns from the state to know exactly what the rate's going to be. And that should be any time. But uh, you need to call Bill Boner's office in Murfreesboro because uh, we have really uh, what, we were disappointed what, in what they right well what they you know we don't want the, we don't want the rates to be so high that there's that's worth more in your house <coughs> but then again we don't want it to be so low where you're if you go to sell you lose money and I well according to their appraisal mm -hmm. I paid eighteen thousand dollars an acre for almost five acres they're offering me thirty two thousand dollars as far as the Assessment is thirty-two thousand dollars for my property. Maybe could you explain how the county assesses taxes for property value increases? Well, yeah, it's. You, I, I, honestly, you, you would just be better off. It's, it's it's an issue you should address with the assessor of property. I think that that's where you're going to get most of your questions answered. Am I going to like those answers? Okay. I wasn't too crazy about them. <laughs> uh, what are we doing as a city to, to help that? I'm waiting on the the return from the state to see what the the rate's going to be. Okay. I don't know what a whole lot we can do. Uh, we've been staying on them conversations. I, I, I don't know what I really can do, but um, we're staying on top of it. But let's, let's add, though, that, that 
assessed value by the county is not necessarily retail value. The retail value right, of the right, problem. yeah. But those, those values are assessed at a lower rate. I, I understand that. Okay, okay. I understand that, and, and I, I'm all for that. But when when they come back and I my property's depreciated or depreciated, and I get this letter that they're going to rezone it, I, it just kind of threw some red flags up to me. That. But this letter here is not rezoning, of course, because he received on this particular overlay district. Okay. It, it just, it's not rezoning. The zoning would remain the same. It's not a zoning issue. Okay. It's just increasing the requirements onto that. Okay. I think that pretty much covers it. It's it's mainly just just adding design standards for for any type of development. In the event if, if it ever is uh, rezoned or developed uh, to a commercial, industrial, um, or a multifamily development on the, the south side of town, okay. on the uh, along Walden Road and Murfreesboro Road, it, it just it's just uh, there's just requirements for commercial and industrial properties. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <coughs> Mayor and members of the board, my name is Tom White. I'm an attorney with Toon Entrican and White in Nashville. I live at 36 Old Club Court in Nashville. I'm here to request that this specific item be deferred one month or until the May 4 meeting. Specifically, I represent the Nacarados who own an approximately 91 acre site. Uh, they part pardon me, they acquired the site approximately two years ago. They've spent, I think, in excess of $12 million thus far in the development of the property. And approximately 30 days ago, they did receive some notice uh, having to do with this overlay. And I think a lot of the goals in the overlay are certainly the goals of my client. They've got a keen interest in making sure their property is aesthetically uh, pleasing to the city, the public, et cetera. Uh, and we've had a number of discussions once we got this official notice with Grant Green We've met with him, discussed the common goals, uh, and in light of the huge investment my client has now in the city, uh, the permits they've pulled, the reliance on that, they're asking that the commission please consider tonight deferring that 30 days or until the May 4 meeting. Uh, we pledged you to work very diligently with Mr. Green and see if we can get some resolution so that when we appear here 30 days from now, it can be in the form of an agreement where we hope subject to this body's approval, it'll reach your goals and ours, which we think are common. So we'd appreciate your courtesies in considering this deferral for one month uh, and commit to you that we work diligently with the staff and the commission on the issues which you may have. Thank you for your courtesies. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? My name is James R. Mosley. I live at 149 Greenwood Drive, Laverne, Tennessee. Uh, I appreciate that, that times are hard. There are a lot of people out of work. But also, Grant, thank you for doing this. I, I'm glad that somebody is finally trying to make Laverne pretty. Trying to trying to upgrade the image of Laverne, uh, I think there's a lot of people out there that are tired of seeing anything just thrown up, allowed to go on. I think it's maybe this is the start of a new day. I hope so. So thank you, Grant, and folks. I understand that Nacarado's brought a lot of money in here, and they're spending a lot of money. And maybe, maybe they have been backsided. I don't know enough about this to say. But please don't let anybody, Nacarado, Bridgestone, or anybody else, take the looks of our city away from us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor and Board of Aldermen. I'm Roy Dale. I'm an engineer. I reside at 1657 Stokely Lane in Old Hickory, and I am working on this project. I'm the engineer uh, on the Nacarado site, and I just want to reemphasize that uh, the Nacarados want this property to be developed in a manner that would be pleasing to the city. They share your common goals as far as what you're wanting to see uh, when someone drives into the city of Laverne. There are some conflicts based upon the way that this ordinance is put together right now 
that are uh, things that are just missing or things that really need to be modified. And, and, and the end result is going to be something I know that you're going to be happy with and I think that they're going to be happy with. And I want to emphasize that. They are not asking for you not to do an overlay, basically. I think they agree with, with your insight as far as what you want to do for this city. And they want to be a partner with you on that. And so the deferral of 30 days or, or whatever you choose is just an effort for us to get together, work together, come up with a plan uh, that basically works with this industrial piece of property. Um, so I think that's all that needs to be said. We appreciate it very, very much and look forward to talking to you again. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mayor Alderman, my name is Charles Parker. I live at 1165 Walden Road, and I just want to be on the record. I do serve on the Planning Commission and the Board of Zoning Appeals, but tonight I'm speaking as a homeowner, as a property owner of Laverne, okay? Uh, I'd urge ad adoption of these overlay districts because it's going to benefit the city. Appearance is one thing we've been hearing about. If you've looked the last few years, what's been built from the north going to the south, some of the new buildings that are built are much more pleasing to the city. They bring us better tax money to give us a better tax base. If tax uh, appraisals is what we're concerned about too, I mean, I think over time it's gonna help our tax base and it's gonna help property values, the better we make the city look. It'll encourage other businesses to come to a more attractive community. I mean, we'll have the, we'll have the residents, we'll have the business, but I think it'll encourage other ones if we do have overlay districts to help encourage businesses to uh, have certain standards. Now, I'm not against deferring the one on South Walden for 30 days, by no means, because I do think we do need to have discussion. The, the owners do have considerable investment in it. I do understand that. I also understand that their site, topography-wise, was a very difficult one for the excavation. Of course, that does increase the cost quite a bit. But yet, we should still look at the big picture, not just this picture right now, but the big picture in the years to come. Um, as I said, it'll improve the, the tax base of the city because we are struggling with that right now, and we do need to help, help that. Um, the thing about it is, if we sit here tonight and then 30 days from now and don't do nothing, we're going to maintain the status quo. And do we really want that? We're going to have to have some sight down the road, and that's what I urge you to do. I don't mind waiting 30 days to have some more discussion because I do think we need to we need to hear them out, and we need to see if we can work with them because we do need their business, and they need our business. And I urge you to, at some point, though, to adopt both these overlay districts. I didn't speak at the other one, but I'd urge you to do both of them because they are going to help the city in the long term, I do believe. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Anyone else want to speak for or against? If not, I'll close the public hearing. The meeting will start at 7 o'clock. to order 
Buster Locklear is the Sergeant Arm tonight. Thank you, sir. I'll do the prayer, then the pledge will be by our special guest, Boy Scouts Troop 340. Would you rise, please? Dear God Almighty, I come to you to humble myself to be your leader here in the city of Laverne, me and the board here, Father God, and, and I pray that we do the right thing for the people of the city of Laverne. We try hard, and maybe we don't always make the right decisions, but give us strength to do so tonight, Father God, as you have so many other times. So many things we say, thankful for, Almighty. Uh, we do want to pray for the troops, always for our troops, and especially for our friend Ray coming back home and many more that came home. We thank you for that, great God. Do want to pray a special prayer for the people out in uh, West Virginia, uh, the coal miners. They are fighting for their lives out there, Father God, and we could use the your supernatural Holy Spirit to intervene and, and help out there, Father God, and give him strength to get through this. And we pray in your son's name, in Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Now, where's our scout? Y'all ready? <coughs> All right, take over. <coughs> to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, y'all waiting on me. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Give him a hand. That was a great job. That's Boy Scout Troop 340. Thank you very much, guys. Great job. Excellent. We get the board to approve the minutes of March 2nd, 2010, the public hearing, and also March 2nd, 2010, the regular meeting, and March 11th, 2010, the special meeting. Do I need a motion to approve or to deny? Have a motion approved. I need a second. Second. Have a second. All four. Aye. 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 Department reports. Fire department. Mayor Alderman, for the month of March 2010, had a total of 74 calls consisting of eight structure fires, 17 fire alarms, two vehicle fires, four grass fires, five hazardous materials calls. 14 motor vehicle accidents, 11 medical calls, seven emergency miscellaneous calls, and six non-emergency miscellaneous calls. For the month of March 2010, <clears throat> water consumption was 600 gallons, and our average response time was 2.7 minutes. Any questions? Any questions for your fire chief? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Police Department. Mayor, Alderman, for the month of, month of March, Police Department responded to 3,132 calls, 64 motor vehicle accidents, 171 alarm calls, 121 ambulance calls, 83 motorist assists, 53 domestics, 15 burglaries, and 56 thefts. We made 159 arrests, 5 DUI arrests, 78 driver's license violations, and 8 drug-related arrests. The department wrote 1,783 traffic citations. All right, any questions for the chief? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Code department. <coughs> Mayor, Alderman, for the month of March 2010, the Code Department issued a total of 13 single family dwelling permits, four <coughs> commercial permits. 14 miscellaneous permits, one sign permit, two grading permits, 
two garage and shed permits, three other permits. Total number of permits issued for the month is 39. Complaints called in for the month, one for tall grass, 13 for junk cars and yards, 44 for trash and yards, and 40 other. Impact fees for the month uh, for road was $16,809.60. Park was $4,043. Police was $1,768.80. Monthly revenue with impact fees was $41,944.70. Total number of single family permits issued year to date is 20. Total number of single family permits issued during the same time period in 2009 was nine. Total number of all permits issued year to date is 59. Any questions for your engineer? Thank you, sir. Park and Rec. Good evening, Mayor and Alderman. Um, you can see on our March report, um, our revenue was $7,500 for the month of March. Um, and our pavilion rentals with the beautiful weather are starting to pick up. And let's see, I'm gonna start with the senior calendar tonight. Um, the April calendar, uh, regular activities, the chair massages and the basic foot care are very popular. Um, on Earth Day, we are having a, a ranger from Long Hunter State Park come visit, and um, we are taking a trip to Harris again in April. It was such a big hit last month, uh, so you better call and get on the, the list. Um, we are also doing a bean dinner fundraiser on Wednesday, April 28th at the Senior Center from 11 to 1. You can eat there or you can get to-go orders. Um, so. Please let us know um, and help us out. Fundraiser for the Senior Center. Um, let's see, our other activities, uh, adult softball has started. The Easter egg hunt was a huge success, the biggest one we've ever had. Appreciate everybody for coming out and playing with us that day. Um, this Saturday, April 10th at nine o'clock is opening day for the youth baseball and softball leagues. Nine o'clock is the ceremony and 10 o'clock the games begin. Um, next Saturday, April 17th, we are opening our first Laverne Community Garden. We're gonna have our first work day. Uh, the location of the inaugural Laverne Community Garden is next to the Senior Center on Stones River Road. And at 10 a.m. on the 17th, we're gonna do our first work day. We invite anybody in the community to come out and join us. Um, it's our first venture for a community garden, so everybody bear with us. Um, this month is a busy month. It's also Volunteer Appreciation Week. On April 20th and 21st, we're doing a Volunteer Appreciation Reception at the Senior Center, uh, both of those evenings from four to seven. Um, so if you're a volunteer in the community, please come see us so we can show you that we appreciate you. And um, on April 22nd, we're going to do an Earth Day event at Veterans Memorial Park, 5 to 7. Everybody come join us. Um, we're just going to have some little munchies and pick up trash at Veterans Memorial Park. Um, and go ahead and give you a heads up. May the 8th is the summer camp sign-ups. So... The Easter egg hunt was a blast. Yes, it was. And I had my 18-month-old granddaughter, <coughs> and I stuck her right there in the middle of all these eggs, hundreds of eggs, and she got one. That's it. <laughs> one egg. That's all we needed, I guess. Uh, right. That baseball is at 9 o'clock a.m., too. Is 9 o'clock a.m., yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Finance department. Good afternoon, Mayor and Alderman. Tonight's financial re report represents year-to-date numbers as of the end of February. For the general fund, revenues have exceeded expenses by 664000 This is mainly due to um, property tax that we um, normally collect around this time of the year. We have collected, as of the end of February, about 94% of our property taxes. And as of today, we have collected approximately 98%, which is a very good number. Uh, local sales tax, um, compared to budget, we're down uh, about $36,000. Compared to prior year, we're down about $166,000. <coughs> State Street aid, revenues have exceeded expenses by 66550 
stormwater revenues have exceeded expenses by 42,926. And in our water sewer fund, expenses have exceeded revenues by 1.1 million. On the second page is our balance in our various <coughs> bank accounts. And on the third page is a comparison to prior year. Um, revenues are down 338,000 and expenses are down 201,000 for a difference of 137,000 compared to prior year. In our water sewer fund, uh, revenues are down $380,000 and expenses are up $541,000 as compared to prior year. Any good news? Is that um, page four or five? Yeah. No, not yet. Thank you, ma'am. It will be, though. Thank you. Thank you. Library Department. Good evening, Mayor, Vice Mayor, and Aldermen. For March 2010, we checked out 13,342 items, which was down slightly from the previous <coughs> year. 12,799 patrons visited the library last month with an average per day of 474 people. We issued 88 new juvenile and 258 new adult cards last month, which was slightly up from the previous year. We ran 45 programs in March with a total attendance of a little bit over 1,200, excuse me. And computer users were higher than the previous year with 4,163 users last month. We have a busy month at the library this year, this month. The library board will meet this Thursday at 4.30 here in the boardroom. And then following that, uh, National Library Week happens from the 12th through the 17th. We're gonna be giving free replacement cards to anybody who might need one. That allows you to avoid the $5 replacement fee that we usually charge, so it's a good deal. If you need a replacement card, come out that week. Um, the week following that, on the 17th, Saturday, at two o'clock, we'll have a ranger from the Stones River National Battlefield come out and give a talk about Ken Burns' uh, film about the national parks that kicks off National Parks Week. And we are offering a couple of computer-related classics this month. On Monday the 12th at 6 p.m., we'll do a class called Don't Be Afraid, It's Just a Computer. Um, that will cover internet searching, setting up an email account, just simple things that you might not know how to do. So we can take care of that for you. On Monday Watch the 26th. <laughs> 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 On Monday the 26th, we're doing a class called eBay Made Easy, where attendees will learn the ins and outs of using eBay to make a little extra money or find that hard to find item that they want to purchase. We have, uh, starting the 12th also, registration for the Dangerous Book for Boys treasure hunt will begin. Um, and the event will actually be on Saturday, May 1st. 25 kids will team up to find a treasure hidden on the library grounds after they learn a little bit about maps, using a compass, and tying knots, things like that. Sort of like the tea party for boys if you will. Um, finally, our spring book sale will be on April 24th, that's again a Saturday, from nine to three. This is a major fundraiser for us, so we hope everybody comes out and supports us. Are there any questions for me? You're doing a great job, you and your staff. <coughs> Keep it up, y'all doing good. Thank doing you good very much. Things. Thank you. Water treatment plant. Good evening, Mayor, Alderman. We have as our, our monthly report for the month of February of this year <clears throat> with our comparative numbers to uh, 2009. Water production has been about the same. It's uh, basically a one day off, three million gallons from the, the prior year. What we're trying to do is optimize the, the water taken in and the water putting out. We're not wasting as much uh, for our uh, process part of it. Fixing a lot of leaky valves and different maintenance. All of our testing, it's listed below it. Everything's as well in, inside the parameters. Our chemical usage, as we continue to try to consolidate and, and uh, use them efficiently, it's hopefully down just a little. Our maintenance for the month of February is down to $760, which is the first month of our new contract year, which I want to thank everyone for having us again for our 2010-11 year. Thank uh, you for that score. What was it 92 you got? Our last four? 95. 95, yeah. So, Thanks for that. Working on perfect. <laughs> Keep working. Let's get the... Our cross-connection program's going well. Uh, since it's beginning in 2008, we discovered uh, 276 new units. Which brings our total up to 563, and our inspections collected for the month of February was $2,450. 
Thomas, y'all do a good job at that. Uh, you know, coming from a 35 to a 95, and I think we'll get to 100. I, I think, think we, we will. will. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Public Works. Evening, Mayor, members of the board. <clears throat> um, this last month, we really started picking up with uh, a lot of the programs that were slow over the winter. Uh, we had 28 chipper calls, and actually the, cr the crews went around and picked up 87 locations. Um, about mid-month, last month, we started the mowing program. We've been running two mowers almost full-time since, trying to catch up. Um, Hoover Construction, tentative, if weather permits, they're going to be uh, working on Waldron Road uh, on Thursday. Uh, early next week, they should have that. They're going to grind out all the areas uh, that need, are, need it, and they're going to repave it. Um, the sewer department, uh, the board uh, awarded the contract for the Hollandale pump station. Uh, we had the pre-construction meeting on March 26th, and WNO construction will start on April 12th. On fleet maintenance, we've been uh, preparing for the MARTA program. And it started today, and we ran over 100 vehicles through today, and uh, things are looking real good with that. It'll also wind up on Thursday, and we should have that completed and the report turned in. And that's all I've got tonight. Any questions? The uh, Greenwood and Sanders water line project, uh, the, they come back and patch it there. We're going we're gonna to resurface that, or? There, yeah, there's two options. Actually, they had an inspection on that this afternoon. Uh, there's two options. They, they're, they're either going to run a leveling course across it and then put two inches of asphalt over the entire road, or they're going to use a grinder and grind it down level and then put two inches on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> All right. We have two presentations tonight. The first one is 2010 census. Terry Cunningham is here. <coughs> She's also running for County Emergency Medical Service, EMT P. We're glad to have you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Alderman and Grant Green for allowing me to speak tonight. My name is Terry Cunningham, and I am the chair for the 2010 Census for Rutherford County. I hope that you have taken 10 minutes to fill out your 2010 census form and mail it back. The short 10 question form will help determine more than $400 billion per year in federal funding that will be distributed to state and local governments. Census data will help shape the future of our communities. The data help determine which schools will receive funding for improvements where new hospitals and roads will be built, and how we are represented in all levels of government. Everyone in the United States must be counted, and the census workers will visit all households that do not return their forms to take the count of every person. By mailing back the form, you reduce the cost of the census by reducing the number of census workers who must go door to door. Take 10 minutes to fill out your questionnaire and mail the form back in. The future of our community depends on it. I have some update information. Uh, there is a very interesting website that you can go to, and it's 2010census.gov. And on that website, you can see exactly how your community and your town and your cities and your state are doing in the return of the census. I have learned today that the national average of return is 60%. Laverne is currently today at 56%. Murfreesboro is at 57%. And I'm sorry, I do not have the Smyrna current. So what we need to do at this time is we need to reach out to our friends, our neighbors, our church members. We need to reach out to residents and non-residents. We need to inform them that it is not too late to fill out your census form. I have available yard signs like this 
that uh, Grant uh, will have, and I will place some on the outside so that you can pick some up after the meeting, so that we can remind all of our community friends and workers and um, members that it's important for us to fill out that census form. I'd like to thank the mayor and especially Grant Green because he has done a wonderful job supporting me on this committee. And if you please have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Appreciate you coming up tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Okay. This is a very special presentation. Me and Alderman Mosley will get up here. Excuse me. I kind of twisted the, the mayor's arm tonight for me to be a part of this very special presentation. This is a very special young man to me. He's very dear to my heart. Uh, I've watched him grow up. He's the same age as my daughter. Uh, and he just returned from Iraq. And I would like to introduce Ray Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> the City of Laverne Certificate of Appreciation is hereby granted to Ray Pierce. The City wishes to welcome Specialist Pierce home from his tour of duty in Iraq and, ex I'm sorry, <laughs> and express our many thanks for his service and dedication to the residents of our country, state, and city. Ray Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> I used to keep Ray out of trouble, by the way. Uh, so, trouble did she get you? Glad to have you back, Ray. <laughs> All right, we'll go to number four, first reading ordinance 2010-03 to amend the City of Laverne's zoning ordinance by amending section related to mining, rock quarries, activities, to amend Article 5, Section 5.054.2, to add a special section in the I-2 zoning district for use not otherwise listed in Laverne zoning ordinance, and amend Article 5, Section 5.054.4, to add special exception in the I-3 zoning district for extensive manufacturing scrap operations. Favor recommendation from the Planning Commission on January 26, 2010. I need a motion to approve or to deny. Mayor, I'll make a motion to deny. I have a motion to deny. I need a second. Second. I have a second. All four? Aye. 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 Failed. Number five, second reading order 2000. And 9-34, to amend the City of Laverne Zoning Ordinance by changing the official zoning map for tax map 18A, Group A, parcel 10.01 and 12, located at 114 and 120 Glendale Drive, consisting of approximately 26.013 square foot, from a C2 district to an R3. Received the unfavorable recommendation from the Planning Commission on November 24, 2009, and the unfavorable recommendation from the Planning Commission on February 23, 2010. We had a public hearing tonight. No one spoke for or against. I need a motion to approve or to deny. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. I need a second. I have a motion to approve. I need a second. I'm not receiving a second. For that matter, it fails without action. Correct, Bruce? There's no reason to take any action. The motion fails. I have a motion to deny. I have a motion to deny. I need a second. Second. I have a second. All four to deny. Aye. Uh, Aye. Uh. No. No. Roll call. Alderman Moses. Aye. Alderman no. Walden. Alderman Green. No. Aye. Vice Mayor. Aye. I vote no.
Did you get that, Bruce? Yes, sir. The motion fails three to two. Okay. I need to ask a question if I could, Mayor. Go ahead, sir. Bruce, where does that put us at with both motions failing? Where, where does that put us at with both motions failing? No action taken either way? Correct. It's still an open item. Correct. Okay. I'd like to, uh, I would I would just, I'd make a motion to deny again, and I would also uh, respectfully ask for a, a second and some discussion on that matter. I'll second it again. I have a second. We'll open it up. Go ahead. See, I think, um, I think that, um, you know, we've talked about this for a few months, and, you know, I, my feelings are a couple of different reasons. One is it is in our overlay area. Uh, that's targeted for uh, uh, redevelopment and uh, being commercial mostly rather than high density uh, residential. Uh, there's some other underlying effects as far as the water service there for emergency services and the narrowness of the streets and things. I know that area uh, could use the improvements, but I don't think that putting R3 in there is the, is the way for those improvements. And I'll have to agree with um, Vice Mayor uh, Gann. If you cannot get down the street as it is now. And I do appreciate somebody wanting to go in there and, and clean that area up as well. However, putting a higher density in that area with a road that can't handle what's there now, I, I, I just I can't see us doing that. I think we're, we're really putting some, some jeopardy in over there uh, with the emergencies, uh, putting the apartments over there, and when you can't even get two fire engines down the down the street. At one time you couldn't even get a car down the street, two cars. So those are these are my reasons. While I appreciate wanting to clean it up, I just don't think that's the direction that it needs to go. Grant, did we address the uh, fire hydrants and everything that was asked? They provided a notarized and signed letter. Um, however, that may not be legally um, enforceable at the time of development. It, it's it's basically just uh, whether or not it's an appropriate land use for the area. Okay. That was my wondering what we would do about the water situation. Right. Because that place, if somebody starts cleaning it up, maybe somebody will clean the rest of it up. It is. Yeah, because it, it looks terrible and it's dangerous. We need that cleaned up. Uh, so you, you're not giving me an answer on my question. Is the fire hydrant, is that close enough? I don't think it is. I think uh, they'd have to uh, put a, a hydrant and, and uh, upgrade the line to a six inch line uh, in order to uh, have adequate service there. Okay, because I thought we addressed that issue over that. Well, my question is, if we don't have anything but the letter, I don't want us to get in trouble over that. But I'm all for cleaning that place up. That was, that was my only concern. I just don't think putting a, a, a high density on that little bitty corner is the answer, though. And I mean, we have codes to make them go tear the burnt house down. You know. Not just that. So, several of them over right. There. But putting all those apartments in on top of all that, I don't think is going to fix our problem over in that area. Well, it's a small area. Yes. I'm, not, I'm more worried about the fire and the mm -hmm. water. My understanding, I thought we had that cleared about as far as them able to get the water to the building. They provide the city with a notarized letter. However, I think Evan can probably uh, take, talk to you about the legal stat, state of that. It's, uh, what I think what Grant's saying is if they go ahead and improve the line and put the line in the ground and put a fire hydrant there, that will definitely be taken care of. However, they, they have agreed to do it in the future, but that notarized letter, really, we don't have, and I think Evan can Elaborate on that. We don't have legal gr grounds to stand on after the fact. You can't it's, put stipulations on a rezoning. It's a, it's a promise, but it's not an enforceable promise. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. What can they do? Can they do anything different? They they wouldn't have to necessarily comply with that, or they could sell the property after re rezoning no, it. I'm saying, other than the letter, what do they need to do? I'm I'm not sure that there is anything that they can do. That was my only concern. Okay. All right, sir, still open. Are you finished with your discussion? Yes. Okay. So we have a motion and a second, correct, Bruce? Yes, sir, to deny the ordinance. Okay. 
if you're not that letter grant i mean this city needs to have more than that i can't put people life and take a chance putting uh, people life in danger without that i mean that letter i've got to have something i can hold uh so uh that's my biggest concern is the safety okay so we have a motion and a second <coughs> correct bruce yes sir. to deny mm -hmm. okay let's we need a roll call probably the best way to do it alvin mosley aye no okay alvin green i don't have a choice because i cannot put the city you know but i would be definitely for it it's the water so i have to say i deny okay you're voting aye she voted aye Okay, Vice Mayor? Aye. I'll vote aye. All right, number six. Second reading ordinance 2010-04 to amend Article 5 of Laverne Zoning Ordinance by adding a new section 5.056.1 to Walden Road, Murfreesboro Road, Street Straight District. Received a favor recommendation from the Planning Commission on February 23rd, 2010. At a public hearing tonight before the meeting, no one spoke for or against. I need a motion to approve or to deny. Mayor, if I may, sure. we talked about this at workshop on Thursday night. I know we're all anxious to put this in place. Uh, I know Grant and I have worked on this for nearly 18 months. I would ask this the board to defer this matter, to go over a few little details, uh, not that we're taking anything out. Uh, and, and one of the reasons is, is uh, it wouldn't go into effect until items number 12 and 13 are passed on second reading next month anyway. So I would respectfully uh, make a motion that we defer this until next month's meeting. You do that in a motion? Yes, sir. I have a motion defer. I need a second. Second. Have a second. All four? Aye. 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 Deferred. Number seven, second reading. Order 2010-05 to amend Article 5 of the Laverne Zoning Ordinance by adding a new section 5.056.2 for the South Walden Road Overlay District. Received a favor of recommendation from the Planning Commission on February 23, 2010. We had a public hearing before the meeting. I had one person spoke, basically uh, asking questions, which was good questions. I had another one that spoke uh, for it. I had an engineer and I had an attorney and I know, uh, Really, I don't think I had nobody spoke against it. Just some concerns and some good questions. So, a motion to approve or to deny? Mayor, again, I would like to defer this matter as it does contain uh, similar restrictions as the uh, first ordinance. You d uh, I make you a done? motion to de defer. I have a motion to defer. I need a second. Second. I have a second. All four? Aye. 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 Number eight, to approve rental agreement with diverse computing for the agent gateway equipment for the police department. We talked about this at the workshop. Any questions on that? Anyone over here? Okay. Any motion to approve or to deny? Have a motion to approve. I need a second. Second. Have a second. All four. Uh, 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 uh. Number nine, your consent agenda items. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. And that's as far as I can go. And a motion to approve or to deny. <coughs> we discussed this at the workshop. Anything he added or taken away, Bruce Richardson? Not since what was discussed at the workshop. Okay. So I need a motion to approve or to deny. Motion to approve. Have a motion to approve. I need a second. Second. Have a second. All four? Aye. 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 Number 10, to appoint or remove board members, Gateway, Greenway, Advisory Committee. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion we remove these two members from the uh, Greenway's Advisory Committee. Okay. And then, then proceed to advertise those two openings. You doing that in the motion? Yes, sir. I have a motion. I need a second. <coughs> I have a second. All four? Aye. 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 Do we need to do another motion to add the other two? Bruce, does that take care of it? No, we have to advertise it. Okay. Nice. Good job. 
നമ്മൾ First reading, Ordinance 2010-06 to amend the City of Laverne <coughs> Zoning Ordinance by amending the section related to the mining rock quarries activities at a special session in the I-2 Zoning District for use not otherwise listed. At a special session in the I-3 Zoning District for mining and rock quarries activities. At a special session in the I-3 Zoning District for extensive manufacturing and scrap operations. Amending section 5.054.6 regarding special provision for the mining and rock quarry activities with the I-3 zoning district. Received a favorable recommendation from the Planning Commission on March 30, 2010. I need a motion to approve or to deny. Motion Mayor. to approve. I have a motion to approve. I need a second. I'll second for discussion. I have a okay. second. Um, on this, uh, Grant and Evan and I worked very, very hard getting this together. There is one thing I would like to, to discuss, and I've already discussed it, uh, have discussed it with Evan. Um, I have some concerns about us removing um, the distance requirement. Um, while we all are very aware of our I-3 zones and where they are located, even this down the road, when none of us are, may be on this board, uh, there are possibilities of people coming in asking for other properties to be rezoned, uh, I-3, and I would be, a, I'd still be care, uh, more comfortable if we would put some type of uh, restrictions on uh, the location of residents, schools, I, and it's what, 2,000 feet? And I, I would be very com more comfortable leaving that as it was already in our original I-3 zoning. Yeah, but that, that was already in there, wasn't it? Yes, it was yeah. already in there. Is that not in this ordinance? No, so we, we have to. Uh, in looking at the legality of the, uh, the zoning and, and land use, but to make sure that it's not an exclusionary practice, we removed the distance requirements in order to uh, avoid a potential legal challenge in the future on, on that. And, uh, with the current distance requirements, we uh, there's no possible way a quarry could be approved in uh, any of our, our, our I-3 zones, and, and that was the reasoning in, in taking those out. We wanted to make sure that you know we had a, a good uh, legal land use policy, and, and you know it's it, it is a it, generally you look at it and think that it is you know it's a good thing to have, um, but we we were looking at the legal aspects of it. And well, I've discussed with several other cities. Um, <coughs> You know, all of them have some type of distance requirement, and I, I just really think we need to, to put that back in there. Um, it was already in our original one to begin with, and uh, I would like to see that put back. As a matter of fact, it was in our package already in there. It was just marked through. So it was in our original package that we did receive at the workshop. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I made the motion, but do. Grant reckon we need to send this thing back to Planning Commission, take a long look at it, make sure there's nothing else in there that needs to be changed. Uh, we could definitely look at that, at, you know, and, and send it back. And, and we got to get this thing right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As yeah, it stands right now, it. we already have an, it in the I three zone in our current ordinances as it stands right now. So I mean, we already have an ordinance that we can always fall back on because it's already in our books. This one, we're, I want to make it even more stringent, adding to what we already have as far as the $65,000 reclamation, all of that. The only one I was not comfortable with, and after uh, many discussions with several other uh, uh, council people from other cities, um, they're very concerned about us removing any type of, of requirements there. So. I guess my question, what kind of the cities you talk to, what kind of land mass, because we're, we're kind of landlocked, and that my only concern is we ran into this when we passed our new six ordinances of our requirements, and we know that the Constitution, you know, they got right. constitutional rights of that, and, and Evan, I guess I would ask for your input on, on, that, on that distance requirement, if that'd be exclusionary and, and not, not allow and pretty much shut them down completely, mm -hmm. or shut them out. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it, it's really a ba balancing act in terms of, mm -hmm. of what you what you want to allow, what you don't want to allow. If you, mm -hmm. if you create a zone uh, but place requirements that effectively make it where no business could actually go there, even though it says mm -hmm. in the books it can, 
then you have effectively excluded them from being able to operate the business. Mm -hmm. So may, maybe the balance you want to strike is coming up with some reasonable distance requirement that mm -hmm. to, to put back in the ordinance, but that would not make it an exclusionary provision. Okay. That's just a thought. Okay. Well, with, with that, if unless there's any other discussion, I'll, I'll withdraw my second and hope for oh, a motion to defer. I withdraw my first and okay. I'll make the motion we send it back to planning and, and work out. Like, say, like the mayor says, we need to get this right. You do have a motion. I make the motion to send it back to the Planning Commission. I have a motion and a second. I'll second that. I have a second. All four? Aye. No. Aye. Roll call. Alderman Moser? No. Alderman aye. Alderman? Alderman Green? No. All, uh, Vice Mayor? Aye. I vote aye. Send it back to the Planning Board to get it correct, grant, make sure everything is right. We won't make sure we don't get us in any kind of legal challenge. We sure don't want to. We, we sure don't want to be tied up like the county is with their quarry issues they've right. got going on on Burton Knob Road. We don't yeah. need those kind of problems. We've got so, enough of our own. Well, and our ordinance is still in effect as we're sitting here. I mean, quarries are still only allowed in I-3, so our current zoning is perfectly legit as it is right now. I mean, it's there. It's not going away until we change it. Okay. So. Well, I'd hope to see us back next month mm -hmm. so we can deal with it yes. for good. Number 12, first reading ordinance 2010-07 to amend the city of Laverne's zoning ordinance by changing official zoning map for adding New Walden Road, Murfreesboro Road Street, Scrape District. Favor of recommendation from the Planning Commission on March 30th, 2010. <coughs> Need a motion to approve or to deny. Mayor will make a motion to approve. This is just something to add uh, this uh, Walden Road overlay district uh, to our uh, books for ordinance purposes mm -hmm. I mean I make a motion that we uh, approve first reading okay I have a motion approved need second second I have a second all four aye. 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 well 13 first reading ordinance 2010-08 to amend the city of Laverne <coughs> zoning ordinance by changing the official zoning map by adding new south Walden road overlay district received a favorable recommendation from the planning commission on March 30th 2010 your motion to approve or to deny Motion to approve on first reading. I have a motion to approve. I need a second. Second. I have a second. All four? Aye. Aye. No. Roll call. Alderman Mosley? Aye. Alderman no. Walden? No. Alderman Green? Vice Mayor? Aye. I'm going to vote no. But it passes three to two. Number 14, Resolution 2010-07. Resolution amend the personal rules regulation to adopt a new smoking policy. Bruce, is this added for that, all that work you've done in your... Well, the HR director actually wrote this, and this is basically replacing the old smoking policy with what is in the packet. Okay. Bruce, I wasn't at the workshop. Uh, Refresh from memory, does it have anything about employees smoking in vehicles? Yes, this, this says you cannot smoke in city vehicles. Yeah, that, oh, <clears throat> only problem I got with that we, is how to police it, how to police the smoking in vehicles. I don't think uh, citizens will do that. He, he said, we said, they said they were smoking. How are we going to enforce it? How are we going to prove they were smoking in vehicles or not? That, that's the only problem I have with oh. it. I, I'm, I'm That's not, the biggest problem this got. is not written correctly and I go back to what I said the other night it says smoking tobacco use of any kind is prohibited on all city of Laverne owned or leased premises and then it goes on to say smoking is only allowed outside where ashtrays are located so which is it is it in an area where they can smoke or is it prohibited on the premises well she's not here anyway so we, it's not ver it's the verbiage well, Captain, is incorrect. Captain, got a good yeah. question. Go ahead, sir. I, I would just ask the, the board to give the police department a little time to do some inquiry. We could okay. uh, uncover vehicle operations and things like that that, that are not addressed here. Mm -hmm. Clearly, it wasn't taken up uh, as part of this policy. And I just ask for a little time to Absolutely. have a conversation with the police department. My understanding is the police department does not allow smoking in their vehicles <laughs> anyways, other than undercover, correct? All right. The main problem I got with it is who's going to enforce 
And we're gonna get the police to go around and look at employees. <coughs> His employees gonna watch employees. You know, you know that. And we got the manpower, Captain. You got a manpower put two policemen <laughs> monitoring people smoking. Did you tell me I did? <laughs> 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 I don't smoke, so I have no idea, but I do sleep. And when I go to sleep, I eat it. And I just don't know what I do. Well, I don't, I don't I smoke think, when I drive. But I think that it's going to be kind of hard about the vehicle. I don't I think, think it's quite finished. I don't think finished. we need to be smoking inside the city hall, the coast no. building. Any no buildings. City building. Right. But if you smoke, yeah. and you're going to go crazy. I just don't think she one. got this quite. I, I don't think the, the, yeah. the verbiage word, is incorrect yeah, to begin with. Yeah. And that I'll make a motion to do, uh, to deny. Second. I'll I second, second that. All four? Aye. 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 Number 15, motion to approve certificate, good moral character for the liquor by the drink, application for tequila Mexican restaurant. Located at 580 Walden Road. Everything checked out, Bruce Richardson? Yes, sir, the background check came back okay. Okay, I need a motion or to approve or to deny. <coughs> motion to approve. I have a motion to approve, I need a second. Second. I have a second, all four? Aye. 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 Number 16, motion to approve settlement agreement and full release of bond with North American Specialist Insurance Company for Dow Properties, Water Edge, Paving. Mayor Alderman, you'll, you'll recall that you, you approved the settlement <coughs> of uh, the release of these bonds previously, and, and what I brought to you tonight is uh, the actual formal agreement that, that allows us to receive that money, and so that's what's before you tonight. All righty. In a motion to approve or to deny? <coughs> Motion to approve. Have a motion approved. Need a second. Second. Have a second. All four? Aye. 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 Number 17, the motion to approve agreement with fire check regarding credit card payment for the city <coughs> service. Talked about this at the workshop. It's supposed to be a, a better deal to help us. I need a motion to approve or to deny. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Need a second. Second. I have a second. All four. Aye. 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 Number eighteen. Motion to approve advertising for Old Timers Day on Comcast Cable. We do this every year, and I guess it's pretty much the same way. We always just Angie always. If, have we always spent this much? I believe so. Yeah. I believe we have. have a, we haven't been that much. All right. And then a motion to approve or to deny. I have a motion to approve. Have a motion approved. We need a second. Second. Have second, a second. And I'll, and I'll add, add something. I think Absolutely. that uh, it, it would have been pretty close to that. I think there may be a few extra dollars in there because of the Headline Act. I think there may be there may be a few there, there may be a few more advertisements mm -hmm. on WGNS and Comcast and and, and DMJ just because of uh, uh, T. Graham Brown being the headline, head, headline act. So, but it's fairly close, best I can recall. It is, and I'm sure it goes up every year. Like we haven't got to add it up to final cost, what the city spends on the entire Old Timers Day. Does anybody ever added that up? I think you actually make a little money, don't you? We, we do. Our, our budget is $30,000, but we bring in quite a bit of sponsors um, that covers most of that. So. And that money goes where? It, it just does it go in general fund? It just okay. yeah, it just goes in okay. general fund. I just never, I never asked and never heard. You know, <coughs> I just always wondered, wondered. We we definitely break even, and we might make a little bit. And it's a great event. It's a great community event. All right, I got a motion. Do I got a second, Bruce? Yes, sir. Okay, all four. Aye. 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 Uh, number 19, motion authorized the mayor to enter into agreement with Barbara J. Moss, representing Norris and Norris PLC, to investigate an employee's employment issue. Is yeah. this the same company we hired to do the other one? It's a new one. It's a, it's a different one. Bill Bates wanted to use this, this group. For this this person matter. for this uh, situation. 
why would we not, we've already hired one, why would we not just use them because they're already kind of know the city <coughs> and... She, and this one specializes in this situation. Those, those other ones, everybody is subcontractor, so it's going to go per, you know, problem we got, which is probably the best way of doing it. Instead of having one, you have special, basically what Bill Bates is telling us. This, this, this is Bill's re recommendation, yeah. so I don't, I mean, I don't want to speak for him, but okay. I assume he has his reason for wanting this particular person to okay. do it. All right, and then a motion to deny or approve? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve, and it's second. I have a motion to approve. I need a second. I'm going to go on and second it because I think this okay. should have been done to begin with. All right. I have a motion to approve and a second. All four? Aye. Aye. No. Roll call. Alderman Green. Aye. Vice Mayor? No. Alderman Walden? Aye. Aye. Alderman Moses? Aye. I'm going to vote aye. All right, Mayor and all of the comments. Um, Mosley, do you have anything tonight? Um, ham breakfast, Saturday morning. Laverne Rescue, go out and eat biscuits and ham. Um, also, I'd like to thank everyone that has um, had my dear friend Bessie Garvin and her, their prayers. Prayers do work. She's doing very well in a room now and uh, looking for... She's in re rehabilitation. Yes, getting ready yeah. to go into rehabilitation uh -huh. and... Uh, so I just thank all of you for your prayers and concerns, and uh, see, prayers can be answered. So, uh, absolutely, good to hear good, good news. Good. Yes. Good. Anything else? Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh um, well, well, I don't want to. Now, whose birthday is it? Why? What does it matter? Did you give me anything? It's a choice. Yeah. But <laughs> well, you got a birthday, and you had a birthday last month. And Sarah's got one Sunday. Ronnie's older than you. Though. But. Just, I want to. This this year, <laughs> I want to. Uh, hearts and prayers go out to the to the West Virginia miners. You touched on it on your uh, prayer and hope the the ones that's not counted for turns out good. Yeah. And remind you about the country ham brappers that seen us mention. It's Saturday, April the tenth, from six to ten. Everybody needs to come out and. Uh, yeah. This is the final one before old timers day. But it's from six six to ten. Okay. Everybody needs to go out and support the rescue squad. And I want to thank Robin, Cecil, Aaron, Donna, Pam, and Angie. Last month they put on one good effort over to celebrate Laverne history. Uh this is the fourth time we've had it, and, and every year y'all have put out 100%. And anytime that we need anything in Laverne, it seems like the Parks Department steps up with Cecil and Aaron. You've done a fantastic job, and I appreciate it. Appreciate everything y'all done. No matter what you plan, they, yeah. they're, they're right on top of it, and I appreciate it. You've done an excellent job. Thank anything you. else? That's it. <coughs> Alderman Green. Anything else? Vice Mayor, sir, do you have anything? Uh, no, sir. Nothing? Quite no, enough. All right, I want to say happy birthday to Sherry again. And happy birthday to my second oldest son, Mitchell. His birthday is April 12th. Mm -hmm. uh, the Easter egg hunt was great. What a crowd. That was that was fun. I had a blast. Did so, you eat that egg or did, did your name? Uh, eat that egg? No, sir. Uh, she wouldn't let me eat the egg. <laughs> she held on that egg all day, but Cena seen her when she was, she was a darling. Yeah. Huh? Okay. And it's your gown town? Is that the little girl painting my puppies the other night in the backyard? Yes. <laughs> she feeds your puppy leaves. I don't know why she thinks. <laughs> it, oh, by the way, I got four new additions to the family. Oh, good deal. <laughs> they don't look like you, right? Look just like Oh, them. my God. Uh, also, I forgot, this is Autism Awareness Month, so uh, 
if you know anyone with children that have autism, please oh, let them know that you're very supportive of them and their efforts. So, okay. Yep. Thank everybody for their hard work. I thank uh, Captain Thompson stepping up for last week. He's done an excellent job, and I appreciate that. And everybody else, the meeting is adjourned.